Welcome back to Post Time. My guest now is Ed Key. He's the Secretary of Agriculture for Delaware. And the first state, every season is great in the first state here in the Diamond State. But, oh, autumn here. I just love it. I just went to fight for orchards the other day with my kids. There's just uh, so many great pumpkin patches. And it doesn't matter if you're in Newcastle, Kent, Sussex. Delaware is great in autumn. It is great in autumn. And, um, uh... Like you said, Newcastle, Kent, and Sussex. I was sailing just a few days ago, and tonight it's mild and, and it's just a wonderful place to be. This is really a great fall. We're having the best corn harvest in Delaware history. Our farmers are averaging 175 bushels per acre, which is an all-time record. And also, we're gonna break the record in soybeans. So we had a great summer, perfect rain, perfect weather, and uh, the farmers are having a great year. And these horses that are walking around and racing, that's part of Delaware agriculture too. And uh, I didn't know much about the racing industry. I used to, uh, when I was in college, go up to Brandywine and, and try to pay my tuition up there and it never worked. But uh, it's a great tradition and I'm just uh, thrilled and honored to learn about harness racing uh, in this job I have. Yeah, and we're actually learning all the time. All of us continue to be students of harness racing here in Delaware. There's actually a study that's going on, and why don't you uh, tell, a, tell me a little bit more about that? Right, well, the uh, Delaware legislature and the horsemen and the, the track, uh, the different tracks, uh, really saw a need to try to document the economic impact on our communities from racing, not so much from the casino part or, or not at all from that, but what economic impact does all this activity have? And so our department, the Department of Agriculture, is working with the Horsemen's Association for both harness and thoroughbred, as well as the tracks, and we've contracted with the University of Delaware College of Business and Economics, who will do a study which consists of collecting data on purses, in-state and out-of-state, but more importantly, uh, collecting data on what all the horsemen spend and, and how many jobs are created at the track for racing. And the idea is to document the economic contribution of what is a great industry and the economic contribution in our local towns and up and down Delaware. So uh, we're in the middle of that. Uh, the conclusions will come out in the, in the winter time, probably January or February. And that's data that can be used by decision makers and, and in the industry itself to, to say this is what uh, the economic impact of this great and fun industry is. So. Yeah, and when we talk about employment, you know, people going to the track, they see the horses and they see the drivers. But guess what? The drivers aren't necessarily taking care of the horses. We're talking trainers. We're talking people that are behind the scenes. I mean, when you come into the paddock, you know, the behind the scenes part on a race night, it is like a Broadway production. Right, right. and so it's about the jobs. And, you know, I work for a governor that's interested in every job that's created. And then also it's about what these folks are spending for feed, you know, horseshoes, insurance, whatever it is associated with the industry, that's what we want to capture to document, again, the importance and the economic impact of, like I say, which is a fun industry full of great people. That's the cool part too. You know, um, I just have fun talking with these people and some of them, a lot of them are strangers, but they're easy to talk to. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Thank you, thank you from everybody in the community. Now, Dover Downs, this is the show where it is opening night tonight. Uh, you're excited, right? Because Dover is like, that's the town you work in. <laughs> well, that's the town I work in. I, I live in a little town on a farm in Lincoln. So Harrington, Dover, and I gotta tell you, I love going up to Delaware Park too, which is not the subject of this show, but it's part of the study. and. Last time I checked, they were all horses. <laughs> and I look forward to coming back maybe in January or February and talking about the results of the study with you. We would absolutely love that. Thank you so much Thank for being you. on the show. Always a pleasure, Ed. It's my pleasure. Thank you.